The Israeli military has said that they have rescued two hostages in a special overnight operation in Gaza's, Gaza's southern Rafah neighborhood. These are the people who were taken hostages on October 7th by Hamas. The two men identified as Fernando Simon Marman of age 60 and Louis Har of age 70 were rescued from a residential building during a raid that also reportedly killed at least seven people. Israeli Defense Forces said that the rescued hostages are quote-unquote uh, in good condition and were transferred for further medical examination in Israel. So, of course, uh, developments coming in at this point of time from amidst this war that is still, in fact, raging. Meanwhile, joining us on the broadcast is uh, Colonel JSO, the defense expert. Good morning, sir, and thank you so much for speaking to us on NewsX. And, of course, uh, news coming in at this point of time that... Uh, Two hostages have been rescued from Gaza's Rafah. So, you know, this is, of course, which is essentially means, and in fact, it makes us realize that this war has protracted since October 7th, and now we are in February. We're being told that these uh, two hostages are in quote-unquote good condition. But, you know, what would, what would you like to say on this? I mean, the kind of mental implications that such situations leave on people are very, very severe. Jayanda Savri, it's my honor to win a news channel. The Israeli Defense Forces have always been known to be very good in special operations and the biggest example uh, still taught in all the armies worldwide is Operation NTB which carried out in Africa in the 1970s. Well, yet again they have shown that they are good in their special operations and they could rescue two hostages from the Rafah area last night. Well, uh, regarding your question, it leaves a lot of trauma and tension in anyone who's taken a hostage because the fear of death always lingers. They aren't able to eat properly, they aren't able to sleep properly, they are always under mental trauma. And this, you know, has a great effect on their mental health as well as on their physical health. So, uh, so for a hostage, these times are very tough and turbulent, uh, but the Israeli Defense Forces have lived up to their reputation and they have rescued them. But there are still over 100 hostages still in the uh, Hamas captivity. In fact, a few days back, the Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu has said in a statement that he has told the Israeli Defense Forces they should wrap up the operation by Ramadan, uh, which is after some time, because this protracted war with Hamas is not yielding those desired results which uh, the idea was expecting. In fact, out of the 28,000 uh, Palestinians killed, just uh, one third of them are the Hamas terrorists, and still, uh, you know, and 80% of the tunnel network is still in intact. So the operations have not gone in exactly the way the idea wanted and it is in the interest of Israel that it should end the war at the earliest. This has been uh, repeatedly being said by the US President, the Vice President, because a prolonged war can put Israel into deep uh, problems uh, out of which it can never extricate itself. Already all its neighbors are ready to wait for war. Iran has made, made it clear in no uncertain terms. I think enough of revenge has been taken. Israel should end this war at the earliest. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.